I'm Tiffany. And I'm Mary Beth. Welcome to another edition of Turning Pages. Today we're going to talk about diversity. diversity. How can you get more diversity into your writing? Um, what maybe you should be thinking about um, with regards to the sensitivities of diversity? Um, you know, obviously there's a lot of talk right now um, about, you know, getting away from some of the whitewashed characters mm -hmm. because our society just doesn't operate or look like that. So what do you what do you want to talk about first? I feel like uh, as a young adult author that we have a special, I don't want to call it an agenda because it's too strong a word, but I think we have the opportunity to have more diverse characters and be able to show what it's like for them growing up in whatever world you're going to put them in. Right, but there's between um, culture, what's going on in the world today, um, just don't be afraid to write something uncomfortable with your characters. You can research. Don't think uh, I'm an almost 40 year old white woman and I write um, male male romances. And sometimes people are like, well, you're not a guy and you're not gay. So how can you write that? Uh, I look around, I talk to people, I read other books that are on that subject. And you can do the same thing. Mm -hmm. And I think that we need more diversity, especially in young adult books. Yeah. Well, the, the young adult, and obviously we know that um, there are so many readers of all generations that read mm -hmm. young adult, but for the, the real intended audience, right? right? The it's getting them at a place where they're so young and impressionable that they can see, look, maybe, and it's maybe not even to be preachy, but maybe for one, one reader to say, oh, that's me. I see myself in that book mm -hmm. and I hadn't seen myself in any other book. And whether it is, uh, you know, of a sexual orientation mm -hmm. or of a particular ethnicity right. or even just culturally, um, right. you know, there are so many things that you can talk about. I mean, we see Christmas stories all the time. There's nothing saying that you can't write a Hanukkah story right, or, right. you know, uh, Ramadan or, you know, something right. around that that which may be a little foreign even to you as an author um we we do have a responsibility to paint an accurate picture mm -hmm. but to help them also kind of paint their own picture um and you know like mary beth said if you're writing you know male and male romance or fem female and female romance there's nothing it's the human connection and that's right. what you do as an love author. is love right you know i'm not a brain surgeon i'm sure shonda rhimes isn't a brain surgeon but she still wrote Grey's anatomy and so it's the human connection that you're looking for um don't feel like and here's one of the things too because what happens is when um, agents and publishers make that call for diversity. A lot of people take some of their characters and then just slip random things mm -hmm. in there. It is so noticeable when you do that and that's not integral to the story. You don't want to whitewash a character, right. you know, like, look, they're natives or they're whatever. Right. And so when you're researching it, coming at it from the point of the scholar who's looking and how they interact and um, how can you speak authentically about a particular group that maybe is underrepresented in young adult literature. Right. And we're not only we're not only talking about race, there's religion. So think about the strict um you know Christian upbringing, the parents who, you know, you have to do Bible readings and things like that. How can you compare that to say someone who's Muslim mm -hmm. or whatever? And and I feel like it would allow teens to see hey, they're not that different not than like their parents yeah. are strict about mm -hmm. religious aspects just like mine and I can connect to them. And I, I feel that that's um, a great opportunity mm -hmm. for a writer to be able to teach them and not preach to them, right. but to teach difference. them. And, and there are so many fascinating cultures out there that don't get a lot of books written about them. I will... Um, before I post this, I'm going to research some books that I've read that I found fascinating. I know one is called Karma, and it takes place in India. And just, it was about, you know, a young girl, and uh, when Mahatma Gandhi was mm -hmm. assassinated. And I only knew the barest of information about it, but it was fascinating to see about the culture and how she lived as a teen in such a tumultuous time mm -hmm. over there. And I think that it's really something important for teens to be able to read those kind of stories and learn about other cultures. But we're also, you want to include 
disability. Yes. And, but please, not like um, you before me. No. The way, in my opinion, the way disability was portrayed there was not in a good light. Right. But that's a totally different story. But don't, you know, don't be afraid. Everybody doesn't have to be this perfect mm -mm. portrait because we're not. And there's anywhere. mental illness. Yes. And there's, there's physical, there's mental. Right. There's so many other things that you can do with a character to make them, you know, to speak to that diversity. And, you know, and, and it doesn't always, and like Mary Beth was saying, it doesn't always have to be from this dark or negative place. Right. It could be a celebration. You know, House on Mango Street is a, is a celebration of a culture. You can definitely delve into it um, from the celebratory aspect. And if you are not sure, you know, what angle you want to take, as an author, it's your responsibility to kind of submerge yourself, do a little right. research. Um, issues that are speaking to teens today are are really important, and they're mm -hmm. not just the regular, you know, oh, we're going to homecoming, oh, we're going to prom. Right. There right. are things happening that, you know, they want to learn more about as well, and it's kind of our responsibility to be the arbiter of that knowledge. Right. And if you are looking for those books because you, you decide that you want to write something like that, but you don't know where to research, Go to the children's librarian mm -hmm. in your local library, and they should be able to point you in the right direction. Because you really should should research. Yeah. Um, because if it's not the lifestyle you live, that doesn't mean you can't write about it, but you want it to be authentic right. and you want it to be believable. And to handle it with an element of sensitivity. Right. And I don't think, be yeah. afraid to look for beta readers who are that ethnicity, do have a disability, do have an eating disorder, whatever it may be, to see if your words ring true with right. them. And you know, we're throwing around diversity, um, but it's just part of being human. There's yeah. so many layers and um, we would love to know from you uh, what uh, elements do you think are underutilized or underrepresented in young adult literature? What would you like to read about that you're not mm -hmm. seeing on your shelves? And that might be a good indication of what you might want to write. Wanna write about. Or tell us, you know, what is your favorite, who, who is your, your favorite diverse character? Or a lot of times people make their diverse character a secondary character. and The best friend. Right. 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 And I'm not really sure why that is. Why couldn't they be the main character? Or are they just supposed to be the, mm -hmm. the sidekick, the buddy, the yeah. comedy, you know, whatever. But uh, leave us your thoughts below. And we'll definitely get back to you. Until next time, Literati. Keep turning those pages. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.